Welcome to the Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. We're still looking at Topaz Studio 2, but today, this is exciting, we're starting to look at the more creative filters inside of Topaz Studio 2. Starting this one off with the Bloom filter. This is a cool little filter, so I think you're going to enjoy this one, so stay tuned. I want to show you some different things about this filter. It's different, so just stick with me and you'll learn all about the Bloom filter, so let's get started. Well, first off, you'll notice my screen, and I have a blue screen with some white dots, some black dots, and a couple white lines here. The reason I'm doing this is so you can actually see what this Bloom filter does. Okay, so I'm in Photoshop right now. So the first thing we want to do is let's launch Topaz Studio 2. I'm coming up to Filter, coming down to Topaz Studio, and I'm clicking on Topaz Studio 2. That launches it. There's a little parrot. And here we are inside of Topaz Studio 2. So let's come up here to the Add Filter and go to the Creative section here. Isn't this exciting? The Bloom Filter right here. So let's give that a click. Now nothing happens right away. And of course we have our typical things right here. We have our Opacity Slider. We have our Blend Modes. We have our Presets. Let's take a look at the Presets. We have Bloom, Extreme Bloom, Heavy Bloom, Light Bloom, Medium Bloom, Soft, and Strong. But let's just take a look at the sliders and see how this thing works. And remember, you can always make your own presets inside of Topaz Studio 2, which is nice. And this little icon here is what you click after you've made an adjustment. You can come here and click and add a preset. So let's come here with the strength and see what this does. Now, notice the black dots and notice the white dots in the lines. Watch what happens when I pull this bloom strength up. And you'll see what this filter is doing. Okay. Now, do you notice something here? See around the white, you see this glow. This is what the Bloom Filter is all about, adding glow. So it's, imagine it would be good for like night photography where you have a lot of lights. And I have a couple examples I'm going to show you here. It, so just stay tuned with this. You'll notice the uh, black dots are not getting illuminated, but these white lines are getting illuminated. So this filter intelligently finds like highlights in your image and just makes those Bloom get this uh, little bit of a glowing light effect around them, which is pretty cool. And then uh, we have a threshold here, so if we pull this threshold up, see how we can make that bloom just bloom out into the whole image there. That's way too much, but we can adjust it. Let's pull it back. Okay, so we can adjust how much of that bloom is actually showing through. So let's leave it about there. Now let's come to the bloom size. Now this will uh, adjust the size of the bloom, so let me pull it up. As you can see, the blooms are getting bigger. Or smaller so that's pretty cool so you got a lot of control here so basically a strength slider which is the amount of the bloom a threshold slider so you can see how far you want that bloom to stretch out to so let's go ahead and hit accept here this will take us back into Photoshop and there we go now let's shut this eyeball off here on layer one so we can see this next picture. Now here's a real example that we can see what we can do with a bloom filter. This is not my image, but I, I don't do much night photography, so I had to go and get some stock images for us to try out here. So this looks like Japan or China. But anyway, really cool little scene with a lot of lighted up uh, neon signs and things here. Uh, so let's come and we are on this particular uh, layer right here. So let's come up to filter and whoops i gotta make sure I'm, this layer is highlighted there it is i clicked on it now it's highlighted let's go to filter come to topaz studio 2 right here give that a click and we launch topaz studio 2 there's a little parrot happy little parrot there so now let's come up here to add filter and let's come down to bloom give that a click and we're in the bloom filter so we're going to go right to the strength so let's pull the strength up now, it's only going to look for things that are highlights, okay? It's not going to touch your dark areas, but you can see that. See that bloom that's happening? It's pretty cool, right? It looks like things are really illuminated. We have some nice atmospheric glow happening here. Say it's like a little bit of a fog in the air, something like that. But we can see some atmospheric haze, and uh, these lights are glowing in that haze, which is really cool. So let's just get that up a little bit, and then we can come to our threshold. Let's bump it up. See, we can give ourselves more bloom. We can go crazy with it. But let's just make it look kind of cool and realistic. Okay, so say somewhere, maybe somewhere right around there. Now the bloom size would be how large that bloom is. See, that looks unrealistic. So you just want to adjust that till it's looking 
just the way you like. And as I always say, experiment with these filters so you can see what they're doing for you. And don't forget, you always have layer masking that you can mask it just in certain areas. But this filter is intelligent, so it's only going to lock onto the highlights, which is pretty cool. And sometimes I'll leave my adjustments a little bit strong when I'm using this as a Photoshop plugin, because when I go back into Photoshop, I'll adjust the opacity layer. If I was just working in Topaz Studio 2, I can pull this opacity back here. Watch on, I'll show you. See, we can like take some of that off, okay? But I'm gonna leave it up full because I'm coming back into Photoshop. So to go back into Photoshop, just click, come up here, click Accept, and that will bring us right back into Photoshop with this adjustment. I had to stop the video for a second because I forgot to make a duplicate of this layer, of this particular image, because if I don't make a duplicate, uh, after I bring this back into Photoshop and I adjust the opacity, you'll see another image coming through, which is not this image. And this is my second example here, okay? So I needed to make a duplicate of the of this particular image that we're working on, okay? And the reason being is because now I'm going to take this opacity slider and start to pull this back. Let's take it the whole way off. And you can see then the bottom image shows through. So then I can take this opacity and just open this up a little bit and let that glow come through. So maybe right around there. So let's click this eyeball right here on this layer. There's the before and after. So you can see the bloom is a really cool little filter. Now let's do one more example. So let's shut off these two layers. So I'm gonna click this eyeball and this eyeball here. This one, this particular image, I already have the uh, duplicate of the background layer and I have the background copy here, all right? So now let's come on this layer here. Let's come back into uh, filter and let's go to Topaz Studio 2. And we're going to do a little adjustment on this image. Here's another cool image that I got from a stock image. And I'm going to click on Add Filter and to Bloom. Click that on and let's add some bloom here. Okay. And again, as you can see, it's only grabbing the highlighted areas. So let's go like this. Let's bring it up a little bit higher here. Okay, and let's check our threshold out, what we want. Yeah, let's let's open that up a little bit more, get a little bit more spread there. And let's check our bloom size. Okay, let's maybe increase our bloom size a little bit. All right, now let's come up to Accept. That'll bring us back into Photoshop. Now I have a little twist here. I want to show you something really cool in, in Photoshop. This is a cool little tip here. I don't know if, if you're familiar with a lot of Photoshop things, but let me just introduce you to something really cool you can do in Photoshop. If you come to this background layer and double click it, you get this layer style box comes up and you see right in this section here where it says uh, blend if it's on gray. Um, and this tutorial is not about blend if, but I'm going to show you a really cool thing you can do with blend if and the bloom adjustment. So let's go to the underlying layer here. And what you have to do here is see, see this little uh, looks like a pyramid here. This is on the dark side. A pyramid here on the light side. This is your luminance range through your image, starting with darks the whole way up to whites, pure white. Okay. And um, if I were to take this uh, pyramid and drag it to the right, I would remove the bloom. You see that? Removing it from the dark areas, which is kind of cool, but it doesn't transition nicely. Okay. So all we have to do, and this is a little tip and trick, hold your option key down and click on the left hand portion. This thing is actually split in two. This pyramid is split in two. Click on the left side and drag it to the left. And when you do, see how you magically gradiate that? And then I can take this slider to the right and move it that way a little bit. Now see the preview right here? Let's click that. We'll see the before and there's the after. But see how that has nicely uh, just got rid of some of the blooming effect around the uh, silhouetted images of our characters here, which I think looks kind of nice. So let's click OK. Now let's look at the before and after. There's the before and there's the after. So pretty cool, right? And so that's blend if. You may want to go back and watch this video a couple times just to see how that blend if works. You know, this tutorial was not about blend if, but I wanted to just throw that in and show it to you. It's pretty cool. I'll do some more videos on blend if and make it'll make more sense to you, okay? 
Well, thanks for joining me again today on The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. If you like this video today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. If you're not yet a subscriber with this channel, please do so. That really helps me out promoting my channel on YouTube. I appreciate all your support. Well, that was the Bloom Filter. I hope you enjoyed that one. Give that one a try. It's a really cool filter, especially if you have some night shots and things. Well, thanks again for joining me on The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly, and I'll see you all right here 